Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial we are going to create a, a simple application in which we will uh, transfer data from one page to another in Xamarin form. So let's start. For first, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Now we will go to in uh, we will go into this stack layout and here we will uh, create a button on which click we will go to the second activity and take some data from this first activity into that second activity so i'll use this uh, button but first let me create uh, two labels at the top so i'll create a label and uh, i'll uh, give it uh, some text so the text will be uh, Ronaldo and uh, I'll give it a name so the name will be name uh, label and uh, I'll use text uh, um, or font size font size large and uh, now I'll close this this one and now I'll copy this and uh, now I'll control V this now this uh, here we will use uh, the text as uh, foot um, ball player and here we will use the name as a so uh, control Z control Z and backspace and pro label so this is profession label and uh, now I'll use this button so I'll use uh, this button um, so I'll use the text take data to second page I'll uh, make uh, give it a background color background uh, color is uh, red and uh, now we will use a uh, text color and this will be white and then I will give it uh, some margins so margins 20 I'll give it also margin these uh, labels so margin 20 and this will also take margin 20 so now we will use here clicked so here it take a method on the click of this but button this method uh, will be uh, fired so I'll name this uh, take data and now I'll copy this this method name and now I will press F7 to go to code and here I'll use um, async um, wide uh, and then method name and now it takes an object obj and uh, event event orgs so orgs and now i can use your curly braces now curly braces is uh, so i haven't closed this tag i will close this tag and now i'll go to f7 now here we can uh, write the code for navigation but for navigation to happen we have to go to this uh, uh, app dot uh, and press f7 and uh, here we need to add navigation page so i'll use uh, make some space here and new navigation page and now I'll enclose this new page 
inside this so now we are good to go and we can uh, get navigation so first uh, we have uh, I have added the second page uh, into this project so I'll go to the second page and we do not have anything here so I'll uh, add in two labels in which we can show that data so I'll uh, use uh, uh, we do not need to use text here so I'll use the name and I will use the name LBL and our text uh, font size I'll make this large and now I'll close this I'll now give it some margins as well 20 and now I'll close this now I'll copy this and now I'll control V this so now I'll change this name to pro professional level and uh, now we will access this by these name in the second page dot uh, cs file so I'll uh, control S it and then I'll press F7 and now here we can access them so here I can use uh, label name label equal this dot find um, by name and uh, here I can uh, use uh, that this is up type label and uh, here I can use the name of the label so we give it name LBL and now I'll put semicolon here and now I can create another label like this so I'll copy this and now I'll paste it down here and uh, I'll change the name to pro label now I'll change this to pro LBL as well now I'll control S it and now I'll go to this uh, main page dot zomil dot cs and now here I will get the data from these uh, labels on this first uh, uh, page and pass in to the second page so first we will get string name equal to and now we have to get these label by name so I can do the same here label uh, label uh, name label or label name equals uh, this dot find by name and now I can pass in label and now here I will pass in the name but let me check the name so for that I will go to chef tab 7 and the name of the first label is uh, name LBL label and professional profession label so I'll uh, press F7 so name label and then I'll copy this copy this and now I'll control V this and I'll make this uh, label pro and now I'll make this pro label if I check uh, the name uh, yes it is pro label so we are good to go so now I'll uh, name is equal to label name dot text and uh, string uh, provision equal to label pro dot text as we have the name and the profession so now we can pass it so I'll create a second second page second page equals new or I can pass it in the constructor directly so I'll use await keyword and then navigation 
dot push async and here I can I call the second page and now in the constructor I can pass in this uh, name and profession now it will show us an error because we haven't create these two variables in second page constructor so I'll control and click this to go to second page and here in the constructor I'll create string name comma string profession and uh, now I'll assign this to these labels so name label dot text equal to name and uh, pro label so pro label dot text is equal to uh, profession now let's run this app on my device and let's check this now the application is running on the device so if I go to device so we have this data in these two label and we want to take it to the second page now if I click on this button now you can see that in the second page we have appended that data to these two to two labels in the second page now we will discuss another way uh, uh, by binding the context uh, to the second page and transfer data so for that I will stop this application and now I'll go to this uh, main page that CS and here quickly down here inside this uh, namespace and outside this class I will create another class uh, class uh, model oh and now I'll uh, um, uh, public string and uh, name and now I'll use a uh, set semicolon and get semicolon and uh, then I can pass in uh, another public string uh, profession uh, set semicolon and get semicolon and now I'll go here and here I will uh, create uh, I'll remove these two and uh, here I will create a var and uh, now I will use uh, m equal to new model and uh, here I will use uh, curly braces and I will put semicolon here and uh, now we will quickly here use a uh, name equals uh, Ronaldo or Messi and uh, uh, profession equals yeah profession equals uh, foot ball layer and I'll put semicolon this profession is uh, uh, showing an error so if I check I copy this filling from here and to see and now if I go to top and now if I control V it here now it is showing error why it is showing error So if I cut this from here, control X, and I take it to the top uh, here, control V this, uh, I haven't copied this, control X, and now I'll use control V, and I will use equal sign here and uh, now if I see this so the problem is I have uh, put in 
a semicolon here instead of comma so I'll remove this as well and uh, I'll uh, uh, remove this because we do not need this uh, we have statically given the data and I do not need this as well even I will remove this from here and uh, I'll uh, now create here a second page second page or page is equal to new second page and now I'll uh, use it here and as we know this we have created uh, some variable in the constructor of this so I'll remove this variable so it will uh, start trying error here I'll remove all of this as well because we have to we will bind the context in the uh, XAML file so I'll go to this uh, main page.cs and now I'll use here uh, uh, page dot binding context equal to uh, m semicolon and now I'll uh, pass in here page and now we are good to go so I'll come to the second page dot XAML and now here I'll use a uh, text and then uh, curly braces and binding and here I will uh, use a uh, name and uh, then I'll also use text here and uh, I'll use a uh, binding and then uh, profession and now we will run this application now the application is running so if I go to device and now if I click on this button now you can see that uh, Macy and footballer is a uh, transfer from this uh, main page dot C is to this second page so that's all for today. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.